I had a chance to look at your backhand. Um, right. And then I, I'm sending a link. So I wrote it up. And I kind of want to go through that. And we'll do what we did before. Um, and I'll, I'll share my, my uh, phone with you, um, my screen wow. here. And what's that? Your handwriting is impeccable. <laughs> Uh, that's not even that good. Trust me, I'm not really happy about. It. I usually write. <laughs> I usually write a, lot, a lot neater. I, I'm very particular how I write. So there's times where I'll get halfway down a sheet. If I don't like my handwriting, I'll start over, and and redo it because I'm I'm upset with it. Yeah. So I, I really take pride in that. So we should be okay here. There we go. Um, let me move this. I can move this down. Can you still see that? Can you see the the phone now too? Uh, I cannot. I only see. Oh, okay, because it's on my screen. I've got. A, I believe now. I, I think I moved that enough where I can share my screen. And I believe we have to do the entire screen here, so you can see that. So you should see my iPhone kind of pop up here in a second, and I'll try to move this out of the way. Oh yeah, I see it. Great. Okay. Yeah, it should be my whole screen, so I don't really have to worry about moving that. I'm going to hide that. Okay, so I did these side by side, but I think I'm going to start with just one and then work. Uh, work with the other one. And so really what we do, and I'm going to move this a little bit so I can, if I see the screen, so I pretend I'm looking there, like I'm looking, I want to see your face here. Um, we go through the six checkpoints and we start with the, the unit, you know, the ready position, unit turn, racket drop, contact, extension, and finish is where I look. And now just because there's something wrong in the finish doesn't mean you finish wrong. There could be somewhere uh, before that, where things are breaking down, think of these as a domino, and that's the way I'm trying to move for that light. Um, that's the way I'm looking at this. Okay, so um, I'm going to start with this side one here and really kind of talk about it and maybe work. I can try to link them, but I like going just both of them right now because they're a little bit off, but that's okay. So overall, I think, you know, looking at the bottom, we're looking at the bottom one first here, uh, that I like your ready position. Uh, your feet seem to be shoulder width apart. Um, your racket here um, looks to be, you know, a nice angle. Uh, your hands are off your body. Um, your hands are together. Um, and we'll we'll talk about the rotation. I don't think, again, you know, you're, I think you got the a little arch. You know, I think that's just natural. Um, that's my I don't bad think, posture. <laughs> uh, it could be posture. Yeah, kind of. I don't yeah, want you to so punch just a little bit more. But I, I think that's. That's not like, oh my gosh, I want you to work yeah. on your posture. But I think you're starting with your ready position really good. Uh, the racket's not blocking your face. You've got a good angle. Hands are together. And when we look at this, the one thing I would tell you that, and I think you can see it here, is that as I go through this first one, watch the head of the racket as we turn, turn. Right here, idea, I'd like to see it just kind of flip to that backhand grip. And so I'll stop it at the unit turn here. There is no grip change. Now, what I think is that you already had your backhand grip on the racket. That's my because you're hitting backhands. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I can see your left hand is an Eastern. I can't really tell. You might be on a uh, Eastern with your forehand. But ideally, what happens is that when I have my racket here and I go to my backhand, watch the frame. This is Eastern and Eastern. The, the left hand, non-hitting hand, or the, the left hand, non-dominant hand will be your hitting hand here. And when I turn from ready position, I want to see that little movement here. So it goes from Eastern to Continental. Not that you can't have an Eastern and an Eastern. That's acceptable. But what will happen here is that when I go to hit, I'll be on edge. And when I'm on edge, and when I go to hit my forehand, my face might be a little bit open. See how it's a little open there? And then when I follow through, the ball could go. What people do is if they have the Eastern and Eastern, you can see I think Venus Williams has this. I, I, I've i never liked that. Looks like it hurts, but when I turn it to Continental, okay, not only do I turn it to Continental, it'll turn the head a little bit, right? The strings will point down. And once those strings, like we talk about, when those strings are pointed down, you're going to be vertical at contact behind the ball getting that top spin. Now that doesn't mean you can't close because you could just manual close and turn your hands down. But you know, to turn the hands right to get that racket phrase vertical takes great amount of timing. Not that you can't do it, but you want to get that racket phase vertical. And if your timing's off, 
on that, that's that could be a problem. So I don't see a grip change. And I'll try to look on the other one. I think that you keep, let me see if I can see it from here. And it looks, let me see the other one, if I can tell. Let me see on the drop. Yeah, see there, it looks like you have Continental there on the top. So what I'm guessing, you can see the strings are pointed down beautifully there too. We'll talk about that. Look at that. Perfect, right? Great. Um, so what I think happened is I put that in red, but I knew like I'm, I'm pretty sure you were in Continental Grip already on that side. And, and or if you, you did, I'm trying to look. I can't see. I can't tell that flip, but it looks like from there. Um, that you're that you're definitely on a continental hand over top like that. That's what it looks like from there. That's a pretty good look at it. So continental grip. So uh, you're starting off really well. And I actually opened up your original backhand video yeah. uh, just to see where it was. And I'm like, man, there's a lot of improvement. I remember the first one's like one or two. And I'm looking at, like when I first looked at this, I was like, I, I don't know if I can see anything. I'm like, you know, I was in Disney. I'm like, yeah. I, I didn't see anything wrong. I'm like, God, that's a good look. That's like improvement. So I, and then I was like, I got to take a look when I get home. Um, so what I love about this is on the turn, uh, two headed monster, right? It's because you are, you're a monster now. Right. So <laughs> I love that. Okay. Um, that looks great. And I'm going to also add to that. Um, let me zoom out here. And I'm going to add to that up here. Look at that back elbow up. Look at this. So your unit turn, wow. your head's on your front. I mean, there's so many good things here. And the blue stuff is what I like. The red stuff is the stuff I would change. And there's not a lot. So by doing that, you're able to have that, that loop swing, that C-shaped swing that's going to help you build racket speed. It's going to help you keep that swing continuous you know it's a two-part movement the backhand or the forehand it's not all continuous right it's we're in ready position here comes the ball there's one and then two right and that 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 racket drop that three-point landing is kind of the second phase of that swing it's the turn and then but you're going to promote that continuous swing you're going to be able to handle harder balls from people because you've got a continuous swing you don't have to stop you're gaining racket head speed the back elbows up and you can tell you're keeping look with that elbows up you're keeping the racket on the same side as your hitting side which is great i mean that's some good stuff right there right. um and so arms are pretty extended i kind of like this i don't want them super extended i just did my bat my brother's backhand and you know and i saw ryan from two minute tennis um, he was doing one on Vena or uh, serena and her arms were kind of bent a little bit on contact my brother's we're really in and hitting. And um, so a little bit of a bent elbow is fine. I don't want it completely straight and locked. So I think right here, I didn't, I don't want it way out like Roddick would do, like completely out. I think that's really acceptable at that point. Because, uh, whoops, as we go through and you hit, uh, you'll see how your arms extend. Okay. Uh, chins on the front shoulder. Um, I'm going to just race through this swing really quick. Chin's on the front shoulder. Watch the hit afterwards. Chin is on the back shoulder. And look, you're not pulling up. You're looking through the shot, mm -hmm. which is great. Okay, so you're keeping your head down. That's how you kind of know. Am I keeping my head down? Start on the front shoulder and on the back shoulder. And that's for both forehand and your backhand. So we're looking good here. Here's where I kind of see I was a little nitpicky because I think I actually do this um, on my forehand and my brother does this too. So if we're looking, so we're in the unit turn. So you see that ball bounces here. Okay. Still bringing it back a little bit. Now that ball lands short, so that's okay. But what I would love for you to do, see how it bounces and you're still bringing it back, bringing it back, racket drops and hit. I would love for you when that ball hits to be right there. So it's not a lot, but look right there. Okay. Okay. In that unit turn, ready to ready to drop right there. I'd love you to. Oh, sorry. I thought I blocked all. <laughs> I thought I blocked all calls. Okay. So I like that. I'd love for you to be now. You you that's okay from a short ball. You can you've got the time to continue to bring that back to you and and then drop and hit. But if that ball is any further back, and that was again, you know, I'll use my brother. I posted that video. If that ball's back here. 
when that ball hits, you have to be ready to drop. That racket should be dropping as that ball is hitting. When that ball hits the, when the deeper it goes, you want that racket to be dropping as the ball hits the ground. Okay. And if it's because if you're going to take it earlier, that doesn't mean every ball. Oh, I, I, I'm my racket drops when the ball bounces. No, because up there, yeah, honey. Yeah, ask Ashlyn. I'll get you some in a few minutes. I'll get you some in a few minutes, buddy. Okay. We'll edit that out, right? Let's try to. <laughs> um, here, you've got time to drop. I wouldn't want to see your racket drop here. It's the ball. You, you got to have that timing, right? That seamless timing. As the ball gets a little further, you want to make sure you're already in that nice unit turn because when the ball hits the ground, you want to be able to drop it. When the ball hits, you want to drop and come forward. If the ball is further back and I see it high over the net and it's going to bounce by the baseline, I am already here. And I'm like, okay. And then as that ball is coming to the ground, like pretend it's coming down like this, I'm going down and hitting it early. Right? So if it's further back, I want it. You want to be here as quick yeah. as you can. Right? So if that ball's deeper, if that ball lands, let's say it lands on the baseline. If you're here and the ball bounces on the baseline, then you drop, you're going to be late. But if you know it's like, oh man, this is coming deep, right? And the ball's coming towards the baseline, it's gonna it's it's going down, down, then you drop, you can come up and meet it and catch it early. Right? You know what I mean there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, absolutely. Yeah. So don't just think, oh, ball bounces, racket drops. The further it is back, you want to drop the racket more quickly to be ready for a deep ball. But I want you to be here. Unit turn by the time that ball bounces here, you're just about there. And it's okay on the short ball. You're not late on it. The shorter the ball is, you have a little more time to do that. But the idea is if we get, oh, I can do this too. That's kind of cool. Oh, I like that one. That's, yeah, that's way better. better. That's better. Yeah. Hashtag learning here. So <laughs> I do like that. So you've got time here. I would just love to see you right there when that ball uh -huh. bounces and save yourself a little time because it'll help you with deeper balls in the court. Okay, here's where, you know, I want to talk on the side one here. And when the racket drops, so your right leg, so if we look on unit turn, watch your right leg. It steps out like you're swinging a bat, right? Kind of steps. And so I'm kind of looking at that. And you know what? It actually, I made a note of that. Your right leg steps towards target here, which is early, but I don't think you do. Let me relook at that. Maybe you. Because you want to turn, you want the racket to drop, knees to bend, foot to step out, right? Three-point landing. And I think that's pretty good. I don't know why I wrote that. I think there was one that I looked at that you were early. The foot really Could stepped be. out, then you dropped. But this one looks pretty good, okay? Down, yeah, I, I, I think that looks good. So you saw yeah. another one where I, where I stepped? I, yeah, uh, I'll have to look at that maybe this timing. time around. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. Um, here's where yeah. I would, the only change I want to see, and I this is what I was doing too, and I want you to take a look at your hands right here. Okay, and, and watch as that ball's coming to you. We can probably do it over here too if we sync these together. Let's see. Watch the right side first. The racket kind of goes back. Your hand, oops. Your hands kind of come back a little bit on one of these, and I felt like, you know, that's actually pretty good too. I'm re I'm rethinking this too. This one, maybe this was a different one. I think it's my perfect shot. <laughs> no, it is. No, it's 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 you know maybe, but. Um, what I thought I saw here, and that's okay. That's why I look at this stuff more than one. Is his hands rack and continue to lay back. What I thought I saw was something I do too. When I go here, instead of instead of you know turning here, right, stepping and sitting. See how the racket just comes down. What yeah. I thought I was seeing is this: the hands laying back more. See how it's coming back? Am I still on the camera here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what I do is on the forehand, I, I get to here, and then what I do is I do this. I bring it back, 
my hand goes back more and then I come through. So it messes with my timing. Mm -hmm. And that's why I was thinking I was seeing there is here because on that backhand, when you turn, step and sit, we want that palm to go down. We don't want to lay the racket head back. We want to go down, right? So I don't want to see that racket head. If I turn, go like this or bring it back more necessarily right away. I want to see your hands drop. The, the tip will go back, but I don't want to see like this. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I don't like to, we don't want to be like, oh, I have this nice turn and then I'm going or bringing my hands even further back. It's once you get to that unit turn, you want to see that drop. You see how I come, my hands come down and you know, now I have that circle there. It looks really it looks nice. Here. Yeah, yeah. But I know what you mean, keeping the stroke tight. I think yep. I've done some so of that. At, I mean, you're right here. Watch it down. So whatever I saw, um, but that's okay. That's why we look over this stuff multiple times. So we're good here. Stepping out looks pretty good. The, the knees bend. Love to see the knees bend a little more. Okay. <laughs> um, when we look at the left side now, um, your racket starts to drop. You look at that knee bend. So we do want to see your head come down, mm -hmm. right? Your head come down under that mark and come back up above it. And you can see that on the green. Look at that down up. So you're lifting through the ball. So you know you're bending your knees, mm -hmm. right? So that looks good. Racket head drops. Let me clear that out. Racket head drops here. And we can do that. Look, we can do that double screen. This is great too. Strings pointed down strings pointed down, which is great. Your weight's starting to transfer. You can see it pull forward. Look at your hip turn. You're going to come up on that back leg too. I know that's the finish, but look at that. Knee straightens out here at the end of your shot. So I'm, I'm skipping around a little bit and yeah. just showing you some things that are really nice on the end here. So that's good too. But on the racket drop, checkpoint three, knees are bending, you're stepping out. Okay, racket's closed at, at the drop at the lowest point. Let's see where you make contact right there. Let's see if I can get right. So I'm guessing somewhere right here, right? And we do we get that racket below the point of contact, right? And down, mm -hmm. look at that, down, mm -hmm. up. What was it, 12 inches? Hopefully, I don't have a ruler, but look, you get it down and there at, at contact. I think on the left is a little bit better if we look here. Look at that vertical racket face, right? Straight up and down. You're behind the ball and you're going to be imparting that top spin. Your arms are nicely extended here, but that, that looks great on checkpoint three. Um, so that looks good. Weight transfer, legs straightens up. Uh, arms are straight, so the strings are closed. It helps you get behind the ball and get your top spin that we want. Contact, arms look good, extended here. Out in, Look at that, out in front of your body. Okay. And then weight shifts forward. And this is where I kind of was like, I was trying to figure out, man, what's going on. And I think this is where I kind of see your body weight go a little bit this way, or your mm -hmm. swing goes a little bit around your body, across your body a little more. Okay. Kind of see how it's kind of going out and around. You know, you finish. Hands above here like that. Look at that finish on both sides. But I felt like what was going on, and then when you finish, look where your armpit, especially on this side, kind of ends up. And I know your arms go behind you, but your armpit on the left looks like it's facing that way. So I think there's some over-rotation there of the upper body at the end of the stroke and, and what i wanted to and what we'll talk about here is um i think you're kind of coming across a little bit across your body and finishing and you see if you can still see me how my armpits over here chest is kind of pointing away from my opponent i really want that chest even if i'm going cross court neutral my chest should be at my opponent right my armpits at my opponent and you can see on the left a little bit to see how it's kind of off the court. The left one's a little better shape than I think the one on the, the, the right picture here. Yeah, yeah. That chest, the left one's better there, but you can still kind of see it's it's off facing this direction, right? And if your opponent's kind of over here, 
So I think there's some over, I think you're coming across a little bit and you can see it on the right picture a little bit, you know, that one you're still coming up, but your strings are so far that way, right? Pointing to the right. And so on our extension, what I want you to practice is this idea of the left side of V. And I do this on my one hander because when you keep this grip and if we practice this and I want, we're going to practice finishing up like this. And I do that on my forehand because on my forehand, I come across early. I used to. And so I would try to hit cross court and I would swing more circular versus more vertical like a ferris wheel so when i was and i gotta watch my ceiling here when i would finish you can still see me and i'll just do it a little bit lower i'll crouch down here you can see you see how my hand on my forehand is on the right side of the v yeah right can you hear me yeah 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 okay you can see that so then what that does is keeps my wrist angle intact right and i'm going out towards my target and if i do that if I keep that integrity and I come up, I lengthen the range of acceptability of I can be early, I can be late, and I'm still going to be able to make that shot, right? I don't have to be perfect. I have this hitting area. And what happens, we talk about, is if I come off early, I can still make it, but I have a smaller hitting area. And that's what I think is going on sometimes with that backhand, why we're miss we're mishitting and framing. What we really want to do is practice is that finish even if you're doing with you know um, off the cone you're going to finish like this and hold for a minute you know even up here i can't go higher i'd love for you to hold up here above your head but you know hands above the head because it's going to keep that angle and it's going to keep you going to your target right uh -huh. the other thing i want you to do is if you set up that ball machine or we'll use it the slinger bag you're going to put that ball machine in the doubles alley and you're going to have that thing feed balls into the doubles alley, and you're going to hit your backhand and try to land it in the doubles alley. That palm the target idea, right? You can even do left-handed forehands, right, and hit that doubles alley because you're trying to keep that wrist, and we're trying to keep from coming over. Now, you do, I think, keep the left side of V, but your left side of V looks like this. You see how you're coming? Can you still see me, by the way? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I see you're, it. it looks like you're coming like this off. You see how it's turned here, and I'm coming up. You still have that left side, right? But it, I think it's your it's it's that path you're coming like that around a little too much, and that's why you're seeing that little bit of over rotation versus down up here. And I had to stop my swing because of the ceiling. Okay, that's what I want to work on is kind of getting lifting out to the target straight more versus maybe coming a little bit to the right. I love, so let me stop there for a minute. Do you have any questions? Yeah, just to add to that one, a little bit, I, I think part of what explains that over rotation is I'm trying on these shots, especially I was trying to go from, you know, my backhand to cross court. Mm -hmm. And particularly with the, with my footwork, I remember before I was uh, doing kind of open stance on my forehand and I yep. think my backhand, the, the stance is a little um, uh, off. So, I mean, even in this example, you More can't neutral. totally see it. But you, 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 I think this one is a slightly closed stance. The, the stance isn't um, isn't uh, coincident no, with, the, with direction of the ball. Not, not completely. Do you think so? I th No, I, you're I neutral. Like no, so mm -hmm. neutral. You're Say that again. You think you're what? I think, I think the angle of my feet is just barely – um uh misaligned with the direction of the ball i know in in this case it, it kind of oh, looks neutral right, I think so right foot my right foot is is uh is it's, it's a little more yeah yeah i mean yeah 45 a just a tiny just a tiny bit and i know with some of these if you look at some of those other shots i mm -hmm. think you'll find other examples where i'm whipping it a little bit i have that tendency so i think it's it's a it's a correction to my uh, feet alignment. Okay. The, yeah, more of a close stance. If you can't see my feet, um, <laughs> you're more neutral. But you're, if you're more of a close stance on either side, you're on your on your backhand. Your right leg would be across your body a little more, and you wouldn't be able to rotate your hips. And on the forehand, it's the opposite leg. You know, sometimes if you're off balance and someone gets you out wide, you got to step across and, and block. Yeah. That's a, a close. 
stance. Right. And in part of like when we talk about the neutral or excuse me, the semi open and an open stance, what a lot of people do is, you know, it can pull a lot of rec players. We pull our weight this way. Right. And we talk about trying to get to the net. And what happens is a lot of times people pull the weight to the left versus, mm -hmm. you know, that weight getting towards the opponent, towards the net. Um, because even if I hit semi open, right, I, I don't, you don't necessarily want to have all that weight falling to one, to one side or too much pushing you away. And, and is that what you're seeing? You're kind of like thinking of, you got to go like that and across. Yeah. To get yeah. it across is what my mind is. And yeah, it's no, it's out to your target straight mm -hmm. ahead, more vertical. Um, but yeah, the foot, you know, I'm looking and maybe the one on the left looks a little, I mean, we want about 45 degrees. This one, yeah, you can see on this one, it's off. Uh, this one too, and I can look at the other ones too to see how that foot is. But I believe it's like they want 30, 45 degrees there. You don't want to be rolling it. And it looks like, yeah, you could almost come over that. It looks like it, you know, a little bit, see, that could be a problem with that toe. But other, you know, that you're coming up nicely, you're extending and coming up. You wanted that racket to touch your back on the finish right there, which is nice. You mm -hmm. also want your hands above your head like that and finish high, which is great. And you want to try to finish on edge, okay, on the backhand, which, you know, here you don't need, yep. And I think with the over rotation, it looks like it would be on edge, but you're kind of a little over rotating, right? When I, and I don't think I can do a follow through here unless I was on my, like my knees, you know, here, if I came up, you know, <laughs> down and hit up, I would finish like this. So my strings uh -huh. would be kind of that way versus, you know, here, you know, but you're, you're getting it up here by your head, you're finished. And if you're coming off a little bit, yeah, it changes things, right? Your rack could be here, but I like how you're finishing up here. So you're not turning your hands necessarily over. You're finishing, it, it want to be almost like this. You can see on edge a little bit, um, touching your back and that's a good rotation. But overall, this is, um, you've shown a lot of improvement. Um, with the backhand, we haven't spent a ton of time hitting backhands. Remember, this came kind of out of our our um, our twenty our skills test one. Where I was like, "Hey, we should look at that." And I'll and we can kind of yeah. See, look, this one was better. Look on the on look on the one on the left there. That one was a little better with your feet on the right foot there. Whoops. Mm -hmm. Let me go back. See, that one was a little better. Yeah. Um, you know, we didn't even talk about the shot. Look how see that one here. Now this one on the left, let me unlink these. Gosh, that looks good, Mark. Look at that. It drops. And watch this. So you come up here, arms are straight, and you hit through. Now that one, look at see. Now there's your left side of V, right? A little better. Boom. See, there's a lot, you're still on the left side and Lifting finished up, up by above your head. Okay. I think the foot was better there. You're dropping, you're finishing up. Um I love the first one you sent me. I think he was like, you end up swinging one hand. And I was like, ah, he probably doesn't want me to look at that one. Oh, is it this one? Yeah, right here. Look. Yeah. That one, yeah. yeah. Like, that's the first one. I was like, yeah, we won't do that one. Uh, yeah. And all the others in that set are, are among my best, though. Yeah. And then this one's but, neat because you can watch a little bit deeper ball, mm -hmm. right? And this is when the racket probably would start to drop right there. Yeah. Well, and then it's watch up, 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 up. You see how you're still bringing drop it back? There. Yeah. So that's what I was talking about earlier. You're bringing it back and drop, mm -hmm. right? And then it gets it gets really tight to your body. You can say it's because you're late. And then it's like, oh, and then you were just like, uh-oh. So that was yeah. late. So it's still coming up and you hadn't dropped yet. So your racket starts dropping here. Look how close it is to you. We want that drop right there. And that's a, yep. that's a big difference, right? So when I, we talked about earlier, I think I was like, hey, your hands are dropping back. And maybe I see it right here with this one. Um, we're here and, and that's where I want you to drop and watch your hands. They kind of go back it goes a little bit, but it's not bad. Tiny bit. Yeah. Here drop. Yeah. Here and drop. So I, and, and someone pointed that out to my forehead. I'm like, wait a minute. You know, it's like, yeah, drop them here. Even that little bit. It, yep. And 
so even that little bit, I don't think it's detrimental to your swing. I mean, that's pretty hard. I've been trying, I've been trying to switch that um, with my um, with my forehand. It's like, oh, Mike, does it really matter? It, it can affect your timing a little bit. And I've actually noticed that you can see in some of my videos that I've just done recently, you can see how quickly I'm turning because I was actually so late on my forehands when I did some of these videos with the ball machine and I haven't played or hit since I hurt my back. I started, I watched him. And I said, I cannot believe how late I am. And so I went out and reshot him the next day. And I really, for you can see me, I'm almost rushing on some of those to drop. So I practice that stuff too. And that's when I noticed that I've actually really tried to do two high fives and then drop. And I can feel a difference. I can feel, I'm like, okay, I can feel it. So I know I'm doing something different because I would get back and then it, the ball would be coming and I'd be like, do, 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 do. And then come through and you're like, well, isn't this fine? I'm like, well, you can hit it. Just like when people like Kyrgios, right? This, this forehand, I don't teach that forehand. And I saw a, a really, I don't even know who it was. I think it was actually Ben Shelton's forehand, maybe this new kid. And he was like this, and I saw a picture of him, and I sent it to my buddy, and I said, well, would you change that forehand? And if Ben Shelton or Kyrgios hits a forehand like this and comes around and has got great timing and it's not going to hurt him, you, you don't need to switch it. I don't teach that. I am not going to teach you that forehand. My brother does that. He does this on his forehand, and he's really late. So for him, I'm like, you're too late on the ball. So instead of doing – Instead of for him doing this, it's now here. So even if we're here on the back and we're like boop, 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 down, like that's really hard to, you know. Yeah. It's like, could I do something else to even if I kept that tick in my swing? Like, how much is this going to, you know, change if I'm just here and drop? What happens if I'm back a little bit quicker? Oh, he wants me here, then drop. Oh, so if I'm already back and do a little beep, you're still fixing the original issue of getting that unit turn right right away, all the way back versus getting here and the ball bounces, then we're a little bit more back because those hands go a little more back, but you're not quite in that 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 two-headed monster showing that you're not quite here. And so that ball bounces and you're like boom, 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 and then you drop. So this is not like extra. You're still trying to get there. We want you, when that ball bounces, to already be here and be ready to drop. So that's what we want to work on, on that backhand. You know what I mean? Yep, yep. So there's so many good things there. Um, I'm glad we went through that. Looks like, you know, I had made a note about your right leg, but it, it looks like you're you're stepping – you know, at that 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 right time, right? So your body, you're turning, the racket goes, the body turns 90 degrees, chest towards me, racket goes 180. And you see how it, it's, it's kind of, but look, you step and then there's the drop. Uh, so I'm pretty sure, boom, right there. You mm -hmm. see it's ran down and you're starting that process down, mm -hmm. right? I feel like that's okay. I'm looking at the bottom one now. Looks yeah. to be okay. And again, here, I don't think you're back all the way yet. So it's, it's not where I'm thinking, oh, he's, he's doing extra. I think, boom, there. That's where you want to be, right there. Yeah. And then drop. And you do that. Look, drop. And so what I think I misinterpreted was here, oh, he's already turned. No. And I was like, oh, he's bringing his hands back more. No, you're not quite there. There's where we want to be. And you can see that foot sneaking out just a bit, that right leg, a little bit. But you're dropping. And I think that's good timing down together. But we want to get you right here. Let me see right there. And I'm going to mess with the top one now. By the time, let's see where, let me get a ball out here. By the time that ball is there, right there, almost, you got to be right where ready to drop, right there. Yeah. And that's, it's a little bit of just, practicing hey am i all the way back and then filming yourself i don't think that's that big of a a deal and then the second thing so that's number one making sure we're unit turn all the way here right high fiving elbows up that's great the second thing i really want you to work on is when you finish stopping the finish to hold that left side of v just for you know like 10 balls go here and then after you hit and hold 
we're 1001, 1002, allow yourself to finish, to be like that. And like, okay. And do like 10 of those where we see that we're like, boom, out to the target, 1001, 1002, and I'm trying not to hit my ceiling. So, right? Those yeah. are the two. I think those two things All right, but this is not major. This is a really nice... I wonder if I have the original one on here. I think I do. Hold on. There's your, let's see. Oh, is that it? That might be it. Hold on. Let me, no, no. Let's see. Yeah, I think you're right. Is this it? Or is this your forehand? That's my forehand because I'm on the left yeah. side. It should be a I little bit I, after. No, I, I have it somewhere. Is, no, I go down. Is it August 4, 2021? No, that's. that's yeah, that was our forehand. first lesson. I could uh, probably April six. April six was. So we had an April six lesson. Oh, maybe it's further back. April. No, 7th, we started twenty twenty one. Okay. I have. Yeah, I'll look at that. I know I have them, but I, I I looked at that first one and I actually pulled it up on my phone, and just was like, okay, let me see. Yeah, and everything I'll, is off. Now yeah. I'm looking at it. It's like, hey, what do you think about that? And you're like, you look. Know, you're like, I don't know. You're like, so. <laughs> Um, I, I overall think that is, you know, there's a, there's a really good foundation. Um, and we talked about, you know, the ready position, the unit turn, just making sure you turn it here, making sure you're, you're back to where you're ready to drop the racket. So when you're like ready to drop, that's where you need to be by the time that ball bounces anywhere on the court. It's just good because it's going to help you not be late on the ball. Okay. Uh, like you were on that very, I think the first one where you end up going one handed, right? That wasn't like, Oh, your swing's bad. You were late on the ball and you're, you just adjusted your body accordingly. Right. So it was the lateness. That's the big first thing. And the second thing is working on that follow through out to your target, keeping the left side of V. I think those are the two things that would be good. You don't need necessarily to, to hit the ball machine. You can do shadow swinging, right? Mm -hmm. And send me videos, do some, you know, like we do. It's like Welby Van Horn, right? The shadow, your balance. But, man, I was impressed, Martin. I really was. I, I was like, man, I. it's like I, I saw that. I'm like, man, you're really, you're really starting to just – you can see that nice foundation starting. And you haven't played yet. And people are like, oh, you should be playing. You're building a foundation. And, yes, the next transition is to can I do this on court? Can I do this when someone hand tosses me a ball, when a coach feeds me a ball, or when someone hits me a ball? What happens if, you know, people in clinics are hitting balls all over the court and you've got to run and it's up here, it's down here, and you're not getting the same two balls in a row from an opponent, right? Can you keep that form? Can you keep that balance? Can you keep that structure? And we're getting to that point. So, um, you know, that's where you are next. So when that happens, when you play hit and hit with people, you know, don't necessarily be like, oh, you know, darn it. I, you know, it's hard. It's going to be harder. It's, but if you have that foundation, it, it's going to translate into that, that hitting. And it's not just hitting. Like if you and I went out and hit a few balls, great. Then if we played a match, that's even different than a class. That's even more pressure right now. Oh, now I'm playing now. I'm, now it's yeah. for real. Right. And can your strokes hold up? And I think the foundation is, is definitely there getting there on both both strokes um, for sure. And so it's patience, but again, those are the two things. Yeah. It's definitely, get... been, it's definitely been a work in progress. Um, if you want to pull up my old shot, I, I found it's August 10, 2021. I don't know if you have that on. on yeah, the I think I can, uh, let me see if I can, I can, uh, you know, it might be from the email. I'll see if I can dig it out here, but you know, from that cone, let me go grab my cone. Yeah. Okay, you can, we can make that L, and even if, you know, I'm going to just walk you through, you can't, of course, you can't see the cone. I took out my really tall cone, right? And you're making your L with your body here, and so my cone is, is over here, and so I've made my L, but if I was going to practice this with just your hands, here's your ready position, right? And it's almost turn, right, and high five if I was a lefty, right, and you're going down together 
hit and keeping the left side of B and then finishing, right? You can practice without your racket here, turn and hold, high-fiving the cameras like that way, elbows up, right? Oh, I'm in my right position. I'm on my toes right now. You can't see, but then I drop, right? And there's the step. So here's the three-point landing, boom, under my cone, hit, left side of B right there and hold. Okay, mm -hmm. and then you can do it with your racket. You don't even need a ball, but I'm here in ready position. And hopefully, you, I don't know if you'll be able to see my grip change, but here, see, I'll just pretend I'll do my grip change for you first. I'll turn and hold, step and sit. You see how I went straight down? I didn't I didn't go back. Go back, yeah. So when you're here, step and hold, you know, pretend hit off. Boom, 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 hit and hold. Leg extends. I'm right here just kind of holding and then <laughs> ducking and finishing that back. <laughs> and you can do that at home, out in the yard. And then use the machine. I don't know is this I uh, do the machine first. Try some just some shadow swings to record yourself um, and see what that looks like because it's looking good. It's been fun. And you've been really patient too, I think. That's the biggest thing, your patience. Yeah, I, I've been able, because of my age especially, I, I know the value of it. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, th thanks so much. I mean, if you were able to pull up the our first shots, I mean, it's been a remarkable improvement. And a lot of the things see? that it's, uh, again. What, it's, what year did you say it was, 21? I, I have the date. It's, uh, yeah, 2021. It's August 10, 2021 was the, All right, the date. All right, so let me go back to months. Okay. July. Okay. I know I have it. Okay. I just, I actually just looked at August. Wait, there it is. No, there's Oakton, August 10th. Oh yeah. August 10th. Hold, on. Hold on. I'm going to pull this one right up. It's like, you can just see the, the, the preview is you just, the preview is just you like, nah, who cares right now? But let's see, let me get this. I should pop the code up. That's oh, it. I'm back. Cool. Here it is. Uh. Oh yeah. There it is. I love that one. No one's. Oh, it's airplane. Hold on. Um, that's your four. That's your forehand, right? No, no, that's that's my well, backhand. That's backhand. I'm sorry. I'm like, wait. I'm that's the one. I'm that's the like, one-handed. Yeah, I'm we were sure, playing yeah, with one-handed backhands. If you if you there switch to a different one. Yeah, that's that's the one. Yeah. So and we kind of. So if you look, you can see. It's harder with this one because I don't have the. Um, no, but this is it. It's all over the place. You can see it. now. Look, even the drop here. You drop early, so you're losing mm -hmm. speed. Grip mm -hmm. is not correct on the right hand. Look at the hands. See. Yeah. And then, yep, a little bit late. See, look. You, so the racket, you can tell. And sorry, I'm like. And the finish. Look at look at the rotation. Look at your body. And look at you, yeah, that foot we can fix, but look at the body rotation so far yeah. falling to, to the right. So, yeah, I mean, there's a, a big improvement. It, it does. It takes time. And remember, we haven't looked. We've been together about a year now, but we haven't worked on your backhand every lesson, right? And we've been off for six months, and, and then you came back. And so um, you're getting there. Um, continue to do those classes. Um, and hopefully this was a help. Um, and oh, I put the, it's linked and it's also in our file. Um, so those are two things. Do you have any questions about it or any comments? Uh, no, I just, just remark again. Um, uh, a lot of, I mean, we haven't focused on the backhand particular, uh, you know, but, but, uh, I picking, I've been picking up, um, lessons along the way every time you notice something so it's great to get confirmation that i've been able to get where i am now um especially i think in the last month or so i, I particularly have been working on getting arriving at the ball kind of you said six to 12 inches below the ball which allows me to lift it um that that's been a really big uh a, a kind of a newer development um, but a lot of what you see is i'm aiming for what what you've noticed so i've been working on getting the you know intentionally getting there to the right stroke um and it feels just so much better i mean you, you, we just saw the, the stuff from the last year i mean everything is just so much more controlled so much more compact so much more um efficient sequence and flow yeah efficient everything 
So thanks so much for uh, taking me there. There's no way I would have been able to do it. Uh, uh, no, I mean, you kind of review. So, well, the, you also helped me too with, you know, the way I, and I think right around the time we started, I together, I really was changing the way I was thinking about my instruction and, and learning, Hey, this is what I want to do. This is how I'm going to teach it versus, you know, necessarily, Oh, let's get Martin to hit and then we'll teach him stuff. And it's like, you know, that's normally what I would do. I'm like, I'll get you to hit balls and, um, we'll go from there, but it's, it, it, this takes more time, but you can see it's more fulfilling. And, and I, yeah. it, it kind of reassesses well, like Vic Braden, you know, these guys, it's like, Oh, you teach all these people the same. And it's like, well, yeah, I mean, this is, these are the, the, the things that work. These are the fundamentals. And if you're going to take time to practice them, you're showing me that like, yeah, this works. Like if someone takes time to do it and has patience, it's going to work. Like you're going to yeah. get better. And you are and 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 so it kind of validates you know because you you were my not my test run because i've done lessons for years but i'm like okay this is the way i'm going to do it i'm going to use you know the cone i'm going to do this i'm going to break it down i'm going to like this is what we're going to practice and, and then me learning in the last year really delving into more stroke related things and watching tons of videos on what am i looking for what do i need to see better because as pros most of us in my opinion People don't teach you that. They yeah. don't teach you how to, you don't spend hours analyzing footage. You just don't. Now, maybe with the new curriculum that are coming out, you do. Most people don't. I didn't. And I went through two, I went through two programs. One of them, I went through four certifications. And the only time I had to look at a swing was for adult development. I was scared out of my mind. I'm like, nobody had ever taught me. This is how you break down the swing. And now that I, I've learned from people, and yeah, watching, I probably watched 125 of Ryan's videos, probably. And I'm not kidding. I've got notes on all of them and it just sticks in your head. And so it's, you know, so it's great. And I'm, I'm glad, you know, I talked to Jamie or I talked to people and it's like, yeah, you know, people that want to work and do this, I love to work with, right? It's, it's fun because it takes time. And so it's been a blast uh, watching you improve. I love seeing those videos in the winter. You're like, oh, this is boring. I'm like, it is. <laughs> I just want to listen to a podcast yesterday. S basic shots win tennis matches. Just be basic. Basic shots win. <laughs> I'm telling you, it is. Basic shots win. So you're doing great. But okay. I, I will see you tomorrow then, right, at 9? Yeah, th sounds great. And, and, and right right back at you, I think learning with you, we've been a great match. And um, uh, like I said, I, I think, I mean, very early on when I was hitting my back ends, I'll tell you a story. Just um, – I, you, you saw those early videos and I was even playing with a ball machine. I was so, um, uh, lacks, lack so much confident confidence hitting my backhands. I was even thinking in my head, my God, I'm going to have to be a forehand player because my backhand just doesn't feel good at all. And I'm not doing the things I'm supposed to be doing. So to, to have like that memory and then being able to kind of build it with you through the, the drills, through the, the, um, the thought process and getting kind of um, intentionally the stroke as you want it and to, to groove it into the right kind of position where it's now, um, you know, entirely comfortable um, is, uh, is a great feeling. So it thanks is. so much. It, well, yeah, my pleasure. It's, it's been, yeah, it's, it's great stuff. Um, and, and, and you're getting, you know, it, it's never, you know, you could, people could always, it, our strokes are never going to be pro perfect. Your stroke is your stroke, right? You can make tweaks. And then at some point it's going to be about as good as it's going to get. Like for all of us, like my shots are most likely as good as I can do some tweaking and, and improve. But like at eventually I'm like, unless I'm doing it full time, like my, my game is my game. My shots are my shots. And I'm glad that you're having confidence. That's the fun thing too, is, you know, when I switched to a one hander, I was like that. And I had no confidence in my two hander because someone tried to grip change me and I just, I couldn't do it. I could not get comfortable. I was, it was, I don't think I gave it enough time, but then I hurt my wrist really bad. And then I switched to a one hander and it took, but I it gained that confidence. I'm still now yeah. shaking on it. So I have to go back out and, and do some more because I'm, I can feel it. I'm not confident. So I'm like, I, I'm not, I don't, I don't have the feel like you have. I have to get out there and hit some more because I've lost that feel, lost that timing. Well, so I understand, uh, that and then so we'll i'll see you tomorrow morning okay. and then um 
I don't know if we want to do a round of, we don't have to do any other tests. We could do a tiebreaker test we can work on. Is there anything you particularly want to look at? I just mean, I, I think we just follow up on kind of mm -hmm. these little backhand corrections and you can give me a, yeah. a few drills and, and um, just, you know, just to, yeah. mainly just the drills and, and just to kind of check it and, and see it in, in action. And then mm -hmm. uh, just do that. And then there's a, I've still been working on my serve. So um, a few of the pieces that, that we talked about last time um, with a toss, especially um, mm -hmm. I just, I would love to get uh, just your reaction and comment on my progress and what, what I can yeah. do. We'll look at the, yeah. We'll look, see how the, the height, we can look at the height of that toss and see yeah. how it, yeah. All right. Well, listen, you have That's a great, great night. All right. Okay. Have a, okay. See you tomorrow. Thanks so much, Nick. Uh, really enjoyed it. Appreciate yeah, it. Yeah. Take care. Okay.